Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you another journal that I've made and this one is a traveller's notebook size and I've used so many different things in this. It's kind of, I'm calling it junky because there's no theme to it. I've just gathered things that I like. Um, I've tried a few different things so I've popped that inside there as well which you will see when I go through it. Um, I've used this cardstock which uh, has been sewn onto some white cardstock so it's nice and thick. Um, with Traveller's Notebooks, I mean, a lot of people now are just using them on their own as like this, but you can't, you can insert them into um, a Midori cover or a, fedora, a, a full Midori, um, where you know you've got a few, a few of these inside um, the journal and or the cover, I should say, and you've got them for different things like uh, diary, notes, recipes, shopping, all that kind of stuff. So it just depends on how you want to use them. Um, it measures eight and a quarter by four and a half. There is one uh, chunky signature and it's 88 pages front and back. I've used some uh, scrap pieces here to, to do some layering, just the tail ends of some of the papers that I've had to cut down. I've just put a little bit of crocheted trim here with some bling. Used this lovely image here and I've popped on the word memories and this is a freebie from Artie Mays. Um, you can find that on her website and I think it's on her uh, Facebook group which is called Artie Maze and Friends. As you can see it's quite chunky. So this will be listed in my shop if you're interested. Um, so this is the first page and it's kind of like a mixed media um, digital kit that I've used and I can't remember who it's from. Um, we've got a pocket here and I had actually made some uh, ATC coins uh, the other week and I've done some trading with them and I've done uh, one with Artie Mays which I received yesterday and she's also done a video on how she made hers so this was the one that she sent me and if you've watched her video you will have seen this was one of the ones that she made um, and it's got a little bead dangle I haven't done the bead dangle on mine so I kind of mimicked what she had done um, only she had used um, her kind of arty backgrounds that she makes up when she when she's doing all her colouring and everything. I actually just used one of um, one of Artie Maisie's collage pages and just cut my circles and I sewn them and I'm rubbish at sewing around a circle. Um, that was fun. You'll see the other ones as we go through. They're not perfect, um, but you know, not bad. This one's actually pretty good. I think I've hit some of the, the bad stitching with some of the. Um, the the lace and the butterfly and the word remember so that's that pocket just got a large tag here and a layaway tag and I've also used some items from a tattered dream um, I had when I moved into my shed I had a lot of stuff packed up and it was in my other shed and one of the stuff that I had was um, a big pack from Denise Anyway, I kind of thought I'd thrown it out, <laughs> and I'm, you know, I kind of felt quite bad, but I found it. Um, so I was so happy because there's tons of little bits in there still to use. So I will link that below as well, and I will mention the other things that I've used from a tattered dream. This was just uh, a little bit that I've made with the scrap pieces that I've had to cut off the ends. So there's a little book there. Uh, this is um, either a piano or a keyboard um, vintage uh, music sheet. Uh, this is an envelope which has just been heavily coffee dyed and I've popped a stamp on. I got the stamp from Artie Mays and this stamp is from Malta. So that pops on there. Oh, and there's stuff behind there that's just fell out. Okay, so this is from Denise's shop as well, and it's one of these um, maths cards. Um, there is a proper name for them. Flashcard, that's it. I couldn't remember what it was called. Um, and then we've got a tag here. This is a lovely um, doily from Denise's shop. And this is just some digital paper. And we've got a glassine bag again, that was from Denise's shop. So happy that I found that. <laughs> um, this was sent to me by someone, I can't remember who it was, because um, when I pulled out the stuff from 
the other shed I found lots of interesting things that I forgot I have you know that I have and I've been in this shed just over two years now I think it's about yeah two years I think so there's so much stuff there's still more stuff in there I need to go through it's terrible isn't it and this shed is busting at the seams now um, so yeah, this is another page this is what I've made totally inspired by Artie Mays um, she had done these and she'd put like, acetate in between um, if you are, I think it's junk in the trunk 11 I think it is anyway so I done mine but I put vellum um, used it as a pocket and then popped one of these little um, round embellishments on there then we have um, another flash card and it says why and I've just put a little bit of um, crocheted trim and a butterfly and then here we've got a tag from Artie Mays so yeah that was fun doing that and it's funny I had started this the night before I received this and I actually thought how well that went together but obviously I'm not going to use that because it's it's all signed and it's you know I keep all my trading cards but yeah that was quite funny that I kind of done the same colors um, some journaling papers a doily some more of that music paper some ledger paper some uh, paper from the old design shop we have an old vintage letter from the old design shop and it's got the ragged edges and here we just have one of these trifolds so lots of room for journaling and some ephemera from Tsunami Rose lots of journaling space I've done hearts on a string and I haven't done this for a long time so I thought I'd do that make a nice change um, some more ephemera here another trifold I love the markings on that paper um, another vintage letter from the old design shop raggedy edges where'd that paper clip go and that goes there and that all pops on there another envelope heavily coffee dyed I sprayed it and dried it and sprayed it and dried it so it looks really old another stamp from Malta that Artie Mays gave me here we have another tag from Artie Mays some more music paper a doily from Denise's shop some more ledger another one of um, these with the vellum here and the little round decoration um, this is from Denise's shop and it's a time card I think and I just made it into a pocket and then put that little guest check tag thing there and we have a tag so you can see that through there I like that with the vellum the reason I use vellum is because I couldn't find my acetate um, and it's here somewhere I just don't know where so here I've made just like a booklet from different papers so you can do some journaling in that and I've just put that little tag there as a stopper and that just paper clips on the other side of the lovely doily and here we've just got another pocket with another um, round embellishment and we have a tag we have a flash card that's from Denise shop and another tag that I've made so that is the journal I will link everybody below and that's the back page and like I said this is listed in my shop if you're interested um, I've still got another journal in the shop if you want to take a peek at that as well if you have any questions just ask and thank you for watching bye